here it is my new project that is an advanced ignition system and uh, this ignition system control the spark plug uh, of a mechanical uh, engine and uh, this wheel is uh, having 18 teeth and one missing and one missing teeth will indicate the piston position and uh, we'll be able to calculate the speed of the motor by using these all slots and to identify and count the slot i'm going to use this uh, ir sensor and uh, this ir sensor transmit and receive the ir signal and as per the ir signal it identify that the teeth is there or not when it rotates it counts and it identify the rpm and uh, motor speed so another thing is that i'm going to use this display this display will show the rpm and uh, the load on the motor and uh, it will also indicate the angle of the spark leading and we are also having two other knobs over there this knob is there to control the rpm and this another knob is to control the load of the motor and here you can see we are having some points this first one is to provide the power supply 12 volt power supply to this whole project and these another two are there to connect the external spark plug system so uh, while we connect the external spark plug we can connect the ground over there and we can connect the spark plug signal over there so it will provide the signal to the spark plug to spark and we'll be able to see it practically another thing is that that uh, to control the speed of this motor uh, we can control from there and uh, this uh, knob is being verified by the arduino nano i'm using two arduino nano over there one is main and another one is auxiliary this auxiliary uh, Arduino Nano control the motor speed and uh, this is also going to indicate the angle of spark plug leading and it is just controlling a uh, servo it is just indicative the servo will indicate the angle and to control the motor I'm using a motor controller that is L298N based motor controller and here it is the project and this also uh, having a small LED and uh, it indicate the RPM or you can say speed of the spark just it is an indicative because the RPM are too high 2000 10,000 RPM and if we blink this LED that much high speed it will not be identified by the naked eye and it will be looking like uh, always on so I have reduced the speed so it will just indicate that the speed of the spark is high or low or like that so here it is the project now I'll give a small demo uh, practically how it is working here it is in this project I'm going to use the Arduino interrupts and as I told you that uh, this wheel rotates from 2000 to 10,000 rpm and uh, these all uh, slots on this wheel will allow us to measure the speed of this wheel and uh, how it is going on with the microcontroller I'd like to tell uh, I'm using a um, Arduino pin interrupt and uh, this Arduino Nano ha is having a pin interrupt I'm going to use uh, interrupt INT0 and that is actually on uh, Arduino pin 2 uh, digital pin 2 and uh, I'm using a uh, rising uh, interrupt so when uh, this wheel rotates and the signal of this uh, IR sensor goes from 0 to 5 volt 
mean to say rising it identify that there is a slot so in this way it interrupts the processing of the arduino and it counts this uh, the uh, the number of slots and the, the time also so in this way and when when this uh, bigger slot one missing teeth appears it identify that this uh, wheel has taken complete complete circle and it calculates the t that is the time period so in this way uh, we are able to know the speed of this uh, wheel and i am also using an another interrupt that is a uh, timer interrupt i am using timer 1 uh, for this and uh, this timer 1 interrupts is uh, controlling the spark so whenever uh, it also uh, calculate the load and rpm and as per the load and rpm we are having a table and as per this table we are having load and rpm and accordingly we know how much angle is leading for the spark so uh, in this table we will also average out and calculate the uh, values in between and by using this table we are controlling the spark plug uh, angle and uh, that is leading by a certain degree and i'll i'll show this on this display also and this uh, servo will also indicate that how much angle is leading so now i'll i'll give you a practical demo how it is working now here i'm going to connect a power supply and that is 12 volt 5 ampere power supply i'm, I'm having with me and uh, you can see uh, i'm going to connect the power supply from this power source so and i have also placed this to banana jack and from this to banana jack we can further connect the spark plug system so practically we will be able to see the spark and now i'm going to power up this project and uh, here you can see uh, it is showing the rpm and load and as well as the lead angle so we can be able to change the speed of this wheel or can say we can change the rpm and uh, we'll be able to change the load also here you can see the load is going to change and accordingly the lead angle is also changing and you can see here the servo is also indicating the angle and this led showing that uh, how it is working what's the speed you can see you can change the load you can change the rpm and as, as per the rpm and the load this lead angle changes and accordingly the spark plug will work 